we present GradSim, a differentiable simulation framework for system identification and visual motor control. This work was co-led with Miles Macklin and supported by a number of other collaborators. We addressed the problem of estimating physical properties of an object from videos. Given a simulated video of an object reacting to external forces, we recover its physical parameters such as mass, friction, and elasticity. One very successful approach for system identification is to leverage differentiable physics. Differentiable physics engines take as input object geometry and randomly guessed physical properties. At each time step, they output the state of each object in the scene. These output states are compared to the corresponding ground root states, and the loss is backpropagated through the physics engine since it's differentiable, and the parameters are updated by gradient descent. However, such state-space supervision is hard to gather because it requires precise 3D tracking, which is often impractical for systems, especially like deformable solids and cloth. In GradSim, we extend a differentiable physics engine and connect it with a differentiable renderer. This renderer takes in states produced by the physics engine and outputs an image or a video sequence. This predicted video sequence is compared with a true video and the loss is back propagated through the entire system. That is the rendering and physics engines because they are differentiable. Importantly, our method only needs images or video sequences as input and does not rely on precise 3D state tracking. Our physics engine is based on work by Macklin and others and supports a variety of physical systems, including rigid objects, deformable solids, cloth, and more. Our rendering engine is based on the Kowlin framework and performs differentiable rasterization of triangle meshes. We now showcase use cases of GradSim where we accurately estimate physical parameters from videos. On the right, we show a simulated cube with chosen mass, friction, and elasticity attributes. On the left is our initial guess, where the parameters are randomly picked from a uniform distribution. Upon backpropagating through GradSim, we are able to precisely recover the physical parameters as seen in the center figure. Precise estimation of physical parameters is important for complex geometries. As seen on the left, even a minor error in friction parameters can lead to different end states. GradSim, however, can recover parameters accurately up to three to five places of decimal. In this experiment, we recover the elasticity parameters of a deformable solid beam by watching a video of the beam deforming. We also simulate incompressible fluids such as smoke in this experiment, we optimize for the initial velocities of smoke particles so as to form a desired binary target pattern shown in the third column. The reason for GradSim's superior performance is its smooth loss landscape. Non-differentiable physics engines typically need to perform gradient estimation by using estimators like reinforce, and this often leads to poor loss landscapes. Besides system identification, GradSim enables the learning of visuomotor control policies using only a single target image for supervision. In this experiment, we train a two-layer neural net policy to actuate a deformable solid object. The goal at the end of the simulation is for the object to achieve the target configuration shown on the right. By expanding and contracting the vertices of each tetrahedron of the finite element gear you see here, our policy learns to roll over to the target image without relying on any state-based supervision. We also support the simulation of thin shell bodies like cloth. Here we optimize for the initial velocity of a cloth such that its final state matches the ground truth image on the right. Finally, in this experiment, we train a one-layer neural network to actuate a walker to move to the right edge of the image. Initially, the walker is initialized with random weights and does nothing of significance. In just about three iterations, though, the walker is successfully able to reach the target position. For more details, please visit our project page.